just hide in the corner right there. When I was a child, some strangers would come to me asking me for directions or the current time and date. Some children about my age also came to me and I played with them. And on certain days, someone would ask me, Who are you talking to? Hmm. But after I had a little conversation with a lady in black clothes at the church, these things stopped happening. However, one day it started again in the town. A girl in a black dress with azure ruffles appeared in front of me. Around her silvery white hair fluttered many blue butterflies. As the butterflies danced around the girl, she was so beautiful, yet looked so unhappy. One day I came home, and she was there. I saw the butterflies flooding around my sick mother sleeping in the bed. The girl noticed me and said, You can see me, right? What should I do? The door opened, but wasn't it blocked by that pile of debris on the other side? Well, it wouldn't hurt if I just looked around for a bit, right? Okay. It's a little weird. I guess I guess this was on the other side of the the um you know the, the hallway of the pickaxes and all that. I guess that's what it was. Maybe I don't know, maybe I didn't look far enough. I just interacted with the door immediately. Anyway. Wait, what? This place is totally different. Hmm. Okay, we're playing as her now, by the way. Oh, <laughs> what's that? What's that? I, when I press the item or inventory button, it's just like, what, what, what is that? It says, don't leave or something to come back or whatever. Anyway, I guess I'll save. Hmm. A little, little maze, I guess. I'm actually not sure if I if I did this correctly. I don't know. Uh, when I was looking around, looking for all the items and everything, and looking for the drawers, I spent a long time there. I wasn't sure if I missed anything. Like, could you miss anything there? I don't know. Anyway, but we're here now. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Did the bird just talk? The seasons stopped changing. The colors have faded. Will the moment of death also be frozen in time? We need to bring the new season so the seasons could keep changing. But I don't know why Renee is being rejected. Renee? Rejected? What is Renee? Rin. Oh, Renee? Not Rin. Oh, I don't know. Rin. It means reincarnation. What are you talking about? Now, what did it happen? During the lockdown of the diseased patients, he tried to save a girl trapped in the stairway between the dungeon and the surface. He offered all his strength but met his death. So he's been reincarnated and came back to save the girl once again. Are you still going to stay here? What do you mean? How did you even know what I am? Huh, Nani? Reincarnated, came back. Are you talking about Kai? Young lady, it was very troublesome for my mistress to come here. Please don't run from her. Every hardship that you overcome only makes you stronger. Well then, I've been talking for far too long. Now it's time for me to go. Keep a bye word. Weird. Weird. Okay. Feels like it's quite lively in there. Is everything upside down here? Am I even standing on the floor? This is the entrance, right? What's at the end of those stairs? I can't go back from here. There's a piano, though. Hmm, there's no sound. Is it broken? I think Kai should know how to play it. I don't know how to- uh, I don't know how to play it, or even read notes, but all these musical symbols look kinda cute. Hmm, there's something written on score. In the end, touch the keyboard one more time. Hmm, I wanna go back. I can see some letters, by the way, or not letters, uh, Roman numerals, rather. To get impure to commit sin after sin, sin and purify, then sin to purify once again. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Huh? Bummer. Desires and attachment won't satisfy you, they only sap your soul. Okay. Someone's grave. A stone is a mark, a place where all the worlds are entangled. This gravestone has... It has Kai's name on it. Could this be grave be connected where Kai is? Hmm... Kai's gravestone. 
All right, so let's see here. Maybe he's supposed to, okay, he's supposed to read the Roman numerals. Three, because I'm looking at the blue ones. Three, what's that one? Actually, not sure. What was that one? 11, is it? Three, eleven, seven. Is that one is? Three, eleven, seven. There you go. Amazing. Uh, this one is yellows, I think. So you gotta read in the left to right, I guess. Five, one. Is that okay? Roman numerals. Is that a nine? It's like it's hard to tell. It's like when the X, is like the eyes before the X, and the eyes after the X. Depends what it is that it represents. So I think five, one, nine. I think. Five, one, nine. There you go. The end is inevitable. Slowly and steadily, the life will cease. Oh well. I have to, hold on. I gotta, I gotta find them. Find it first. So the green. So look at the green. Um, what's the first letter actually? Okay, the first letter is ten. Ten, two, and what's that? Ten, two, six. I think. I don't know. It's really hard for me to translate. <laughs> translate it into into numbers and red oh i don't have it yet red is let's see what's the first number uh um eight i think eight that's uh, uh, 12 8 12 4 i think there you go and touch the keyboard right so it says Four seasons that won't change, colors that have faded, and the season of death that has come. Also, let's drink some water. Ah. <coughs> Excuse. A ball of white is left behind. Hmm. Okay. Actually, can I move? Uh, actually, I was drinking water, so I was uh, assuming it was gonna be a cutscene or something. But no, I can move. Actually, okay. All right, now what? All of those dear to me. She took away all of them. No matter how hard I try, there are things I cannot change. My efforts aren't always rewarded. Therefore, I have decided to embrace this season of death. I've decided to enjoy it, and so I need more friends to become even happier. Why does she hinder me? How much more does she want to take from me? I wonder what I can do to make her give up. Hmm. Okay. Lily kind of sus, though. <laughs> Lily kind of sus. It was mentioned, it was implied that she can see, you know, she sees friends, but nobody else can see them. And she can see the girl, you know, so like, she she seems to see dead people, and she likes to have friends for some reason, so I guess we'll see. Sorry, I really don't want to step on you, but I have to open that door no matter what. Please, let me find the key. Ah, yes. Japanese whispering. I've just heard someone's voice. The key is hidden by those who cannot sing. What does that mean? Cannot sing. Is there a skeleton here that doesn't produce sounds? Or, but how can I find it in this sea of bones? Perhaps the best way is to just walk around to hear a different sound. Hmm. Okay. All right. So this is a big pile of bones, which I assume is where all the dead bodies were maybe uh, dumped into. I mean, it was mentioned, you know, something, someone about cleaning up the bones or whatever, maybe. So a skeleton that cannot sing. I don't know. They all seem to make the same crunching sounds, I guess. Not exactly the same, but I don't know. <laughs> Just like walking all these bones. The one that cannot sing? I mean, Kai did say like the one that doesn't make a sound, I guess? I, I literally have to walk on all these bones until I find it, I, I imagine. <laughs> I don't know. I look at my, uh, 
of my items, but... Skeletons that cannot sing, where are you? Huh? Oh. The skeleton over here. It didn't crunch. Got a rusty key. That's it. That's it, but is it the right key? It could be a uh, imitation or meant for a different door. Oh, I'll bet on this key. I don't know if the developers are trying to trick me, you know, with that one key, I don't know. Welcome back. Oh, okay. She's fine, I guess. Um, didn't I tell you to hide somewhere? I found the key. Not sure it was the right one, though. You truly kept your promise. Oh, yeah. Hey, my scarf! I never said you could keep it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> but later you'll give it to me anyway. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's open this door already. Let's save the game. Oh, that was the last file, actually. I guess I'll save in the very beginning. Now I'll cycle through my saves now. I wanted to go over here, but I guess, yeah, nothing there, I guess. And that was back there, I guess. I guess she was hiding to the right, and the because I'm trying to, you know, trying to visualize where we are in this whole thing, in this whole place. But I guess to the right is where she was, and she had that weird, I don't know, sequence, I guess. And she was hiding on the right, and that was where we were coming from, you know? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. All right, well, we end up over here now. What's over here? Hmm. Seems like we're going up, I think? Up or down? I'm not sure. I think we're up. Huh? There's no door here. What's going on? Anything wrong? No way. This is the second exit to the surface. Or rather, it used to be. <laughs> She's scary face. And she made that scary face before, though. I begged them not to lock me up. Not just me, all of us begged, but they didn't listen. But there was a certain somebody. He told me that I was going to find the key. He said he would definitely open the door and let me out. Sleep was the only relief I had, because I was always scared of the dark, scared of being alone. While awake, the only solace I had was waiting for him to return. But in the end, he stopped coming as well, and I've been alone ever since. Eventually, my body stopped moving. <laughs> There's no pain anymore. There's no fear. It's gone. All gone. I've been waiting all this time. But now everything is fine because you fulfilled your promise. Now we just need to make more friends so we won't be lonely. Say, do you know the story about Pandora's box? There's a story about Pandora's box, which she hurriedly closed when disasters flew out of it, and hope was the only thing left inside. And hope was locked inside in the darkness ever since the box has been closed. And the disasters have been scattered around the world. This place must stay locked as well. No more pain, no more grief, no more fear. Only hope remains here. Just look in Pandora's box. No more disasters in the box. A world of joy filled only of hope. Right, so? Then, you are the one who has been luring me here all this time. I see. You two are good friends. Okay, we finally meet this person, by the way. I think she's on the title screen, remember? It's funny that we never, we barely ever meet her. I will grant you a peaceful rest. Uh oh. I think she kills us anyway. I was thinking she was the good guy. Ending three, sleeping burial. All right. Now I'm still a little confused, <laughs> a little bit. Like I, I guess. Okay, so this whole time she was a ghost. By the way, the uh, the red haired girl, Lily. I guess uh, she was one of the victims, you know, in the the, the quarantine place. Kai apparently is a reincarnation, maybe. That's what it was mentioned, you know, he was a reincarnation of like a person who escaped and he promised to let her escape too, but he didn't come back. And you know, she's 
stuck in this place because of that. Eventually his reincarnation came back. And now, you know, the whole events of the game happened. And this girl, the blue or silver hair anyway, the butterflies, I guess killed him too to like bury him or... I'm actually not sure. Or was he a ghost in the, this entire time? I was thinking like he, the twist is like he was a ghost too, but I'm not sure. It's confusing. There's more endings to this game though. That was ending 3. Technically I got ending 2 as well in the beginning of the game, but I don't know what that means. Maybe something probably something similar, you know? We get caught by the sword wielding like anime girl. Probably get buried as well. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see what the other endings are like. Um... Okay, she says, will you stay for me from now on? Last time I said, well, I don't know, I only just met you. But this time, let's say, of course. Let's, I guess, just play along. Of course. We're friends after all. Yay, you're finally smiling. Alright, and this, I assume, is just the same. Yep. You're brooding over something, and that's why I'm here behind you, right? Hmm. Something that made you happy before you miss them now. There are countless things in life that make us happy, but we inadvertently fail to notice them. And yet, even if you cherish them deeply, eventually you have to say goodbye and come to terms with your loss. Right. Someday everyone will be gone forever. But the memories of these days will definitely stay with you. And when you're with someone, you'll have more good memories. You'll become happier and less gloomy. Humans are so weird, don't you think? How all humans relate to each other. Just think of it. People that you know, they make food, create different things. Those impressions come into our lives. We cherish and hold on to them. It's hard to put into words, but it's amazing. Even if we leave the human world behind, we'll always have the memories, won't we? Yeah, I guess. Assuming that, I guess, you know, if you go become a ghost, you know, you're, you, have, you still have your memories. But anyway, now that you've said that, my, you're the weirdest girl I've ever met. I don't think there's anyone stranger than you. E, I'm serious. Be serious. You could have told me you're lying instead of being a jerk. Well, I can't lie to friends, you know, and you are... Uh, no, I mean. We should get moving. Hey, what do you mean you are? Well, I guess that was that was a slightly different scene. Alright. From a different choice. And then there's a polling sensation. Yep, that's the same. So let's make another save. Uh, let's... I guess we'll make, we'll make a save. All the way, I guess. I mean, at that point, the ending's already confirmed. So let's just save it here. Well, yeah, save it here. File number two. All right. There's like a hole. You can't go this way, right? Oh, can. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is where it would lead to. Okay, okay. This is, you know, it was a little confusing because I didn't check this part before. But okay, here is the... Yeah, okay. here is the other side of the of the... Um, debris, you know, of the door that I was trying to get into, or at least, you know. Well, we didn't really get into, but you know, there's there's pickaxes and everything, right? So that's the other side, and this is like in the middle, and to the right, I guess, is like, it was only one room, really, but somehow we just end up in a weird endless loop. But anyway, but I guess, yeah, that's it. There's just this pit, and then so we interact with the door. And then she goes in. And stuff over here. Totally different. Totally different place. Uh, I don't know if I need to make a save here, but I will, I guess. File 3. Hopefully this is different, but so far it seems the same, though. <clears throat> Excuse. Ironically, I kind of don't want to mute my microphone because I'll make it sound, you know, because I hit the hockey to mute it, but then... I guess, either way, does it matter? There's a bird here. Hmm. I hope I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't leave. What? How, how, how do I like? It's hard to tell where to go. Did I mess up somehow? Hello? <laughs> I hope I'm stuck. I can't get past. <laughs> I don't know why I can't get past. Is this not the same maze as before? Also, eh, same thing here. Yep. Same weird thing. Can I not? <laughs> I'll try to get past, but I can't. I mean, there's this bird, I guess. We didn't talk to the bird, yes. Oh, okay, here we go. You can talk to the bird. 
Uh, do you know about the seven deadly sins? It's not the letters that matter, it's the colors. Hmm. Uh, Ren can't stay with you forever. Which I don't know, is Renee or Ren? I guess it's Ren. Ren? Is that your name, Mr. Bird? Yes, my mistress gave it to me. Mistress? From your point of view, this world may be a gloomy place of no way out. But you need to change your perspective. No matter what kind of wall blocks your path, there's always a way out. It's hard to see from your perspective, but Rene, or Ren, can see clearly. Hmm, okay, interesting. So that's why I was stuck, because there's like a little puzzle here. But from your perspective, it's easy. I mean, the, you literally have a bird's eye view, so that's why it's easy, I guess. So, I can get past here. Uh, I see something over here. What's this? There you go. All right. Okay. Th that was a hint. That was like over here. There was an invisible wall. It was actually, you know, it's not invisible because you can tell. There. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. There you go. I got kind of got stuck on that. These puzzles are hard. At least for me, anyway. Feels like it's pretty lively in there. Oh. All right. So this is different, by the way. Is everything reversed here? Am I even standing on the floor? This is the entrance, right? And what's that black thing over there? Hmm. I can't go back the same way. There's something written in the chair. Uh, three, seven, three, two, five, six, one. Oh gosh, uh... Three, seven, three, two, five, six, one? I mean, that's wrong, obviously. What's this? Talk. One lamb, two lambs. So many lambs are gathered together. Who are they? When do they come from? Who do they belong to? We don't know. You, should, you also should be the be same for the rest. Otherwise, one of the lambs might run away. But this particular sea is for you. Yes, you have been chosen. You're not like the others. You're special. Hmm. Pride and super baya. Uh, okay. So that's pride, apparently, and... Alright, well, the bird said the words or the letters don't matter. It's, like, the colors, I guess? So we should pay attention to the colors. S and B equals pride equals one. Era. It's hidden among the singing, uh, singing bones in the silent skeleton of the unforgiven. Even though I dragged you into this, I didn't want it. I didn't want... Now I, who came looking for my old bones, will become another skeleton. And those words don't seem to be related to this room. Could this be about Kai? If it says he's turned into another skeleton, I was trapped in there and he tried to save me. Did that person become Kai and come down here to help me again? Okay. Why were you the only one who... Uh, only one chosen to be saved, young girl? No one came for us. Why do you get that privilege then? We're jealous, we're pitiful, we're envious. Envy. Uh, NVIDIA? <laughs> NVIDIA? Graphics card? Um, hmm. Okay. Alright. You're carrying a mortal sin anyway. Why not enjoy it then? It's not enough, it's not enough. Embrace the sin, sin more. Greed. Avaritia. Okay, well, okay, these are like, I guess... Latin words for the sins, I assume. Aversia? Like avarice, I guess? Hmm. When did you die? The number of flies and maggots will be your answer. The moment you move it, you'll see the insides full of fat maggots consuming the dead flesh. And flies have all grown up. All at once, instantly, they will scatter around. Gluttony. Gula. Death is disgusting. Whoever said that? Being alive is much more disgusting. And when you don't have a body that rots, you can stay beautiful forever. I guess, you know, it's not too bad. As long as, you know, uh, if you're like a ghost in the universe where being a ghost isn't too bad, you know, it's like a, like a lighthearted ghost uh, story. It's not too bad, actually. Uh, a pitch black mirror. When I was little, my grandma told me about this. Mirrors, the water surface, and crystals are able to reflect the feature in other worlds. I must go back quickly. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, so I gotta write this. This is like a code. So one equals. All right, all right. I gotta write this down. One equals S purple. I gotta like so much. I guess I'll. Well, kind of hard to like write this all down because I can't really write the color. But B is yellow, I assume, or orange. Is it orange or purple? Wrath, which is, wait, what was it? Two? Yeah, two. Two is, I is purple. And A is orange. I literally have to write all this down because this is too much to remember. Three is NVIDIA, <laughs> I guess, or NVIDIA, but you know. Uh, N, so let me write V actually, V purple. In line my other notes. N orange. Okay. I'm just writing this all down on notepad. Okay, this is more letters, but I guess I just put it like, uh, let's see. Four. Uh, A I A is purple, which is in line with the other no, no, thing I had. This is a little bit of a repeat. And then V A R I is orange as well. I, and I assume we use the letters to spell out the word, the password, the the, the throne is asking of us, you know? Should we die in? Oh, that's six. Wait, wait, wait. That, that, was that four or six? Oh, that's five, actually. So this is five. Wait, what was four then? Is there four? That's just three. No, there's no four. That's weird. Well, this is six. Six? The Latin is mula. Six. G. Purple. I write to the square back brackets and A orange. Probably a better way to do this, but I'm just running down, you know, the letters and the, and the colors and the numbers as well. So seven is uh, uh, U X U R A, or not A, rather uh, I, which is purple, and L, which is orange. I don't know. I, um... Hmm. Or is there, like, another layer to this? Because if there's multiple colors for one letter, how's that work, right? Hmm. Not sure. I don't know. Um... If I connect these numbers to letters from the chairs of the, co of the same color, maybe I'll get a hint? Alright. Write that down. Okay, so three purple. Three purple is V. Seven red is um. Actually, there is no red. Wait. Oh no, no. Well, I didn't write down red. I I, I thought red was default. Actually, I should have paid attention. Actually, R red is also a color in that case. I I didn't realize that. I didn't I didn't realize red was a color. Uh. Seven. So A. A is red. I gotta write that down too. Ah, uh, six. U L is red. Uh, five. T is red. Cause I thought T was. I thought the red was default because the the word you know representing the sin was also red. So I thought that was just by default. But I guess I gotta write it down. Uh, red is I I Dia. I guess. Red. Two is R. Equals red. And one would be finally Uperia, which I don't know if that's part of the puzzle, to be honest. Most likely not. I feel like that would be weird. Alright, so three. Purple. So this is like a little code. Three purple is B. Seven red is A. Three orange is N. Two purple is I. Five red is T. Um, six orange is A. And one purple is 
S. So it spells V A N I T A S, Vanitas. Vanitas. Ah, okay. So because I see there's there's actually six deadly sins that we've seen so far. I guess the the last sin is the one that we're missing. I guess, which I actually don't know what it is. So let's see. No, I don't actually don't need to do that. Uh, no, 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 you're special. Pride, wrath, envy, pride, wrath, envy, greed, gluttony, and lust. So there's one more that wasn't mentioned. There's one deadly sin that was not mentioned yet. Vanitas? What does Vanitas mean? I, should, I, I have a hard time remembering the seven deadly sins, to be honest. Um, because when I think of it, I think of the, you know, I think of, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. What's missing, actually? I don't know. Vanitas. I mean, Vanitas reminds me of vanity, which reminds me of mirrors, so... Maybe something to do with a mirror? Is it Sloth, maybe? I think Sloth is the one that wasn't mentioned, right? Well, I don't know, whatever. I'll just say... Maybe I'll just spell exactly Vanitas? Does that have to be capital? I actually don't know. I don't know if it's capital or not. Well, let's just say Vanitas. Or should it, is it Vanitas or maybe it's the opposite? It's like a mirror, right? Saivana? No, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, I'll just spell it exactly as it look, as it says. Vani. I don't know if this is the answer, but I'm going to assume it has something to do with the answer at the very least. Vanitas. There you go. What the mirror reflects is the emptiness that comes after you commit a deadly sin. Why do you postpone the inevitable in fear? This chair befits you indeed. Sloth. Acidia. Oh, okay. Hmm. Weird, because I spell Vanitas? I don't know what that means. Anyway. So what? You've been chosen because you prefer to give up. I made a promise. That's why I won't stay here. Don't bother me anymore. Hmm. Okay, we put a stuffed rabbit there, by the way. Also, <laughs> when I press the inventory, it's just that again. Hmm. Substitute, substitute, substitute. Alright. I guess that's it. Alright, we just put the stuffed rabbit there. Good. When will I die? I don't know. If somebody finds me, what will they see? After I die, how much time will it take before they find my body? Or will I stay unfound forever? It's not like I have a choice anyway. I'll try not to die too soon. Alright. And then we go up here. And then we're back with this guy, which I assume is going to find the, the skeleton or whatever with the key. And well, uh, let's see, actually. Well, let's just go through the door. Let's see what happens. Huh? There's no door here. What's going on? Anything wrong? No way. And this is the second exit to the surface. Or rather, it used to be, as I put on my scary face. I begged them not to lock me up. Not just me. All of us begged, but they didn't listen. There was a certain somebody who told me he was going to find the key. He said that he would definitely open the door and let me out. Sleep was the only relief I had because I was scared of the dark, scared of being alone. While awake, I would almost always ahead waiting for him to return, but in the end, he stopped coming as well. I'm alone ever since. Eventually, my body stopped moving. Ha ha. Hee hee. Ha ha. No peer. Uh, no peer. No. I, I, I combine pain and fear. No peer. No pain. No fear. She's been waiting all this time. But not everything's fine because you fulfilled your promise. Now we just need to find more friends so we won't be lonely. A story about Pandora's box. A bunch of disaster flew out of it. Yeah, I read this already, so that's why I'm going through it pretty quickly. No more pain, no more grief, no more fear. Only hope remains here, just like in Pandora's box. A world of joy. I don't know, pretty, pretty dreary place, to be honest. Any, any uh, um, plans for interior design? No. Back then, you told me you would stay with me forever. My most precious friend. Uh-oh. 
So this is the choice. This is what happens if you choose to stay with her, you know. Okay. Ending four. Is she she asks you, you know, if you want to stay or be with her forever? I guess that's what happens. You be with her forever as a ghost. You know? Kinda of boring, you know, he's getting stuck here for all of eternity. Nothing much to do. <laughs> just 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 going around haunting the place as a ghost forever. But then again she did mention that she would bring more friends. Does that I guess that implies that they're gonna go out and kill more people or something. So they get more friends. Or whatever. What happens if a bunch of people just die in that place? And then they have too many people in there. Wouldn't it be wouldn't it be overcrowded? Anyway. Alright, so that's one ending though. Let's try to get a different one. Continue. From here. Alright. So continue from the route where we did answer her and say that we would stay with her forever. Or I don't know, did you say that? Anyway. Um but yeah, that we're like a best friend. But uh, on top of that. We can also, I think, go over here and interact with this. Hey, you know, how about offering the little flower here? Okay. Even if it's just one flower, it's just as lovely and beautiful as the rest of them. Thank you. All right, little thing plays. And we left a little flower there. What happens now? After, the, the, after we did that one little gesture. Hey. How about we play a little game? The reward is a wonderful treasure. However, only one of you can get out. Will one of you be sacrificed to the darkness, or will you be devoured together? Which do you choose? Alright, interesting. I believe if you choose the first option, the same thing happens. You get, you get the same ending. So what happens if I choose this one? Just one of us leaving is good enough. Okay. If at least one of us could be saved, I'm fine with that. Kai? That's my choice. I was going to save Lily. Good boy. You've got a kind heart. And you prove yourself worthy of having it. Please, keep going. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what's this? A talisman. Is this the reward for that game? Probably not. I got an amulet. But I guess it is. Lily, this is... If the amulet works... Lily? I'm fine. I'll just keep it for now. <laughs> okay. Put a little, she put on the scary face a little bit early there. Um, alright. Um. What happens now? There's no door here. What's going on? Anything wrong? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my own, like my little revelation all over again. One more time. Encore. I rather used to be. Haha, <laughs> I, I tricked you. You can't actually leap from here. And there's a certain someone. Yeah, it's not coming as well, but long ever since. Hee hee ha ha. No pain, no fear. And now I'm evil. Make more friends. Pandora's box. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Summer disaster. Right, so. Back then you saved me forever. My most precious friend. Then you were the one who has been luring me here all this time. My, you made me run a fair distance. Listen, I'm going to borrow your friend for a little while. Okay, well this time she doesn't kill me, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what happened the first time we met her, right? She seemed to have killed us, but... Where are we? This is the binding spell. A world created by the darkness dwelling deeply inside the souls of resentful spirits. Those who continue to hold on to the mortal world for their malevolence, resentment, hatred, and sorrow. In an attempt to heal the darkness in their hearts, they tempt others into this space, and the vicious cycle repeats. I wasn't planning on coming here, but let's just say I was asked to. Though their cadavers rot away as time goes on, their souls and emotions linger to bring fortune or misfortune to the living. Humans are truly terrifying. Don't you agree? What do you want? My power won't be enough. So I wonder, how could a small being like you stay here without being consumed by this world? 
How am I supposed to know that? All right. I picked up that amulet a moment ago. I see. You were under the protection of the goddess. Is that? No, no way. What would have happened to me without it? The curse would have consumed you and turned you into a grudge spirit. Now that you say that, aren't you some kind of grudge spirit as well? Oh, so that's why you ran from me. When I've seen you the first time, back then you were creepily transparent. Just a sight would have made anyone flee without thinking, grudge or not, you know, with your big sword. I am a Grim Reaper. One who controls death. Oh, you're one of many? Are all Grim Reapers just like anime girls, I guess? Is, just, is that how it works? I was asked to bring the girl who turned into a grudge spirit and back to the heavens. I've approached you just to talk. Well, I don't know about that. You approached us like two times in two different endings. And it seems we die in both times. Uh, but then again, I don't know for sure. <laughs> this sword is a tool used to deliver souls to the heavens. And appear translucent because you've entered the wrong world now. Hold on. Return souls to heavens? Does that mean you were trying to help Lily? Yes. Her and all the others who remain trapped in this world. That's why I came here. Then, is there anything I can do to help you with that? Only the Grim Reaper can release souls. Cooperation will be needed. However, I want her to pass on by her own efforts. But you are correct. I cannot bring back so many souls to the heavens by myself. So we'll use a few objects from the original world. Everything is distorted here, but the worlds are still interconnected. Put these back in the stone statues. It will help me get over the darkness in their souls. Okay, got that bunch of gems. Yeah, we saw before. These are the same gems from earlier. Breaking the binding spell seal was an unbelievable mistake. I'm sorry. Then again, isn't it ridiculous that somebody like me can break it so easily? Also, if there was a seal, how did Lily get there in the first place? Could we just return these back then? The world of living beings, the world where the souls of the dead wander aimlessly, and the binding spell. All three worlds overlap each other. Ordinary people can only see one of them. However, some people are able to preserve, uh, perceive other spaces. Those people are usually called mediums. The seal prevents the spell from spreading to the world of the living. It doesn't allow lingering spirits to lure people here. Therefore, it prevents the spell from spreading. But some of them become so absorbed by the spell that they go as far as deluding themselves in their thinking that they've chosen to be bounded by it. Not one of them should have become a vengeful spirit, however. No one of them would have want to be trapped here either. Everything that happened here was wrong in the first place. That's why they remain here. And the strength of the seal eventually waned. A world between worlds, distorted and incomprehensible. It doesn't exist and yet it exists. It exists and yet it doesn't exist. Usually, I don't ask for help, but right now, you're the only one I can depend on. And remember, don't let yourself be fooled by the fakes. The power of this talisman is limited. It won't protect you from attacks. It can only maintain your normal state here for some time. Hmm? Speaking of that task, what if something happened to me on the way? Something, you say? Don't worry about that. I can always bring you back. However, the further you go, the more corrupted this place will become, making it harder and harder for you to return. After that, I should stay here and purify this place. It should take some little time, I presume. In your terms, if everything goes fast, it will only take a decade, in the worst case, hundreds of years. After you put the gems back, there is one more matter I need you to attend to. Well then, do your best. Decades? Hundreds of years? That's what you call fast? I'm not sure I really understood the part about fakes. Oh well, let's do it already. Okay, bye. Oh, I think I didn't. I didn't pay attention. Uh, I was looking at the dialogue. I didn't even see where uh, where her sprite went. Did she disappear? I don't know. Or did she just walk out or something? I don't know. Apparently, she's purifying the place and everything, right? Bunch of bones in here. So I guess this is the this is the binding seal, which is like a different world as well. I don't know. Oh, confusing actually the three worlds the spirits and the people who are trapped here but they thought they were trapped but they aren't really they could they could leave but they tricked themselves into thinking they are trapped or something I don't know something like that bunch of bones hmm. when the grim reaper comes the world dies and is reborn 
Why won't you light up from the th 13th, making one step into another world? 13th. You don't look the same to me. I think Lily would like that. She knows all about constellations, cards, and fairy tales. Let's just get on with it. Hmm. Something stuck here. Cards? Wouldn't it be faster for her to like them herself instead of preparing these hints? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's like a puzzle. It's like literally just prepared the puzzle <laughs> in order for me to do it. I wonder if this amulet even works. Oh, well, whatever it takes to get out of here. Okay. A golden cup and a silver cup. The good and the evil. The heavens and the earth. The light and the dark. And sharing opposite is necessary. So I assume, okay, it's constellations again. So it's like Gemini? It's like... Gotta remember the horoscopes. No, not more horoscopes. Oh, God. What's this? Zero. From the birth of time to the death of time. Okay. N. Overcoming hardships, eventually meeting their fate. From the demise to the new dawn. Alright. Moon. The two worlds, the light and the shadow, which are waxing and waning, waning and waxing. What do you prefer, to be maliciously humiliated or benevolently saved? The dawn will break soon. Hmm. Scales. The scales have tipped and the hour of judgment has come. You'll be punished for all your repeated sins. Mirror. Unafraid of the spikes of betrayal, he took up his sword to cut off the thorns of the curse. A mirror that's all black and reflects nothing. Sun. Rising and setting, setting and rising, keeping the cycle of life and death repeating, and die, drying up the earth with its gray shine. The defiled earth has dried up, so why not moist up the soil with a cup of sacred water? Star. The midnight eye that tears up the darkness while being consumed by it. Hue. White lilies and black lilies in bloom. Offer them in balance. K. The sound of the forest seasons is played and the conductor's baton points out to the black void. Thirteenth. They all look the same to me. I remember the K card in the card deck was the 13th card, which means I should light this torch first, right? Okay. I want to read the rest, though, because I guess they're giving hints to the order you need to light these torches in. Judgment and Punishment. The thunder of judgment will strike, collapsing the sins piled on top of each other, and the beginning of a new cycle will come. J. When you wish to turn evil into good, a star of hope will show you the way. That's the J letter, right? Kinda looks like a sword, though I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. So K first. Uh, it really lit up. Rather far, it's light. So maybe they give hints to the next thing. And the conductor's baton points out to the black void. Black void. Black void? Black Void, Conductors, Black Void, Black Void, something to do with Black, Black Void, um, the mirror? Hmm, yeah, the Black Void, I'm assuming, and the next thing is something to do with a sword, so like, maybe is this one, he mentioned this doesn't look like a sword, right? Looks like a sword. It's gonna do that, and then it mentions something about a star of hope. I mean, literally a star. I assume this is the star. I'm assuming I'm doing this right. Hopefully, the midnight eye that tears up the darkness. Hmm. Tears up the darkness. I'm assuming the moon. It's in the midnight sky, tears up the darkness. I don't know, maybe it's the dawn or something like that. I don't know. I'm assuming it's the moon. Hmm. Okay, and then the hint for the next one. The dawn will break soon. The dawn will break soon. Dawn will break soon. Hmm. Q. 
I'm assuming... This also mentions something about a dawn as well, but... Turn on the sun, I assume. And something about a sacred cup. A cup? A pair of cups, I'm assuming. It's this one. A pair of cups. Turn on. And something about the opposites. Opposites. It's not the scales, I think. I made the same mistake before. <laughs> Judgment and punishment. Hmm, I think it's this one. Judgment and punishment, like the opposites. Judgment and punishment, maybe? Or is that opposite? Maybe it's not opposite. I'm not sure. I'm looking at the rest of these, and I'm not sure which one it is. What was it? The pair of cups. Light in the dark. Sharing the opposite is necessary. White lilies and black lilies in, do in bloom. You know what? Maybe it's this one because it's black lilies and white lilies, right? Opposites, I guess. Black and white. Uh, hopefully it's this one. And something to do with scales, is balance. This one. Turn on. And then your judgments, your sins. Beginning of a new cycle. From the demise to the new dawn. Beginning of a new cycle will come. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it this one? From the birth of time to the death of time. From the demise to the new dawn. I'm not sure which one it is, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, uh, I'm assuming this one? Because it's... I don't know, it's weird because this one doesn't have a hint, you know, that like... I'm <laughs> sorry, uh, the... Because it has like the white text and the blue text, whatever. Beginning of a new cycle. I mean, this is the beginning of a new cycle, starting from zero, right? And then this one lasts. I think I... I mean... Okay, I think I did it. <laughs> um, can I save? Real quick? That was like a whole thing, so I want to save. Alright. And then the bones... Lay out, and we will continue walking on its path of bones. And now there's skulls? I'm assuming these skulls will kill me. They remind me of Dark Souls skulls, like in the catacombs or whatever. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. I guess they track you, which is actually really hard. Oh, not new game. Whoops. Alright, skulls. Um, Help. Help. Alright. These skulls suck. They, they like... You can't run either. I can hold shift and it doesn't work. I just go really fast, I guess. There's something on the left, by the way. I don't know. If there's, or rather, not left, rather right. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just go. Eh. All right. Oh, now we're over here. The way back is gone. Is this what she meant earlier when she said, "Watch out for fakes"? So many of them. It's gonna take a while. But I've already seen these stone statues before. That Miss Reaper said they're connected to the real world. Could this be the room where the memorial was? If that's the case, the location of the real stone statues might be the same as in that memorial room. I'll see if I can find them, but even if I reinsert the gems, how do I return? Oh. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. I guess we have the gems. You have to put back the gems. I don't remember, though. That's been that's so long ago. Uh... I die. Good. I instantly die. Wow. Basically, I should look first. I mean, a lot of these statues seem to be broken as well. So let me find a statue that's actually that looks right. This one that doesn't look right. Hmm. Maybe this one. No, that doesn't look right either. Maybe maybe this one. That looks right. And then... I can't tell. It's really hard to tell. Uh... That look right? That looks wrong. This one looks wrong too. This is hard. This one looks right. 
Okay. Yeah, no, okay. This one is real. This one is real. This is the Carnelian, by the way. So this is the red gem. I remember getting this one first. It's the one that dropped before. So I think this one's real too. Right here. There should be another one that faces the opposite. Ah! Found you? What do you mean? Help. 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 What do you mean, found me? Hold on! I, I gotta... No! I gotta put the gems in the side of the statue. We won't be together forever. Go away! And I'm dead. Well. I guess that's another way to get any four. It's not what I want, though. <laughs> I, I didn't have time to put in the gems. Oh my god. I guess there's a time limit? As well? That's crazy. Uh, let's see here. It's not that one. It's this one. Now I wonder, is it this one? It is that one. That looks weird. But it is that one. Alright, I got it. And then, uh, this one. And then, I guess this one. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I got it. You stay in this room too, lo uh, too long, uh, you instantly lose. Which really sucks, because it's already pretty hard to tell the differences between the statues in the first place. But anyway. Stone statues with broken or missing parts. I, I really feel like the game kills you too quickly. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just me. Or my own perception of time, but like, it doesn't give you a long time to really uh, do this puzzle. You stay too long, it just kills you. Anyway, I don't really want to think back to the accident, but the last thing I remember is being in the hospital, and then I found myself in front of the gravestone. Come to think of it, the funeral that was cancelled, and that Miss Grim Reaper that appeared right after that. But how is it possible that I'm able to see her, and not just her, but Lily too? Everybody I've seen until now. Why? Why could I see them so clearly? Not just that. That cancel funeral was for... What is it for? Whose funeral was it? What the? There's a book in the shadow of the stone statue. Two underground entrances. One is by the altar. It was used to quarantine the infected in the dungeon. We've completely shut them inside. Isolating them was the only way to save us from the plague. The infected have had unresolved feelings, negative emotions that eventually turned them into the spirits and caused them to commit more crimes. Hmm. Oh Lord, the vindictive spirits are not guilty. This is my sin, for I have locked them up. I will atone for this sin, so please save their souls. This book is... Looks like you got everything set up. I'll bring you back now. I assume that was the Grim Reaper. Now that everything is prepared, the only thing left to do is... Hey, I'd like to ask you a question. What is it? Why did you come to take me until now? Many times. I came for you countless times. However, your resentment and lingering attachment to this world prevented you from deliverance. It's my job to bring souls back to heaven... But I can't take on the darkness in your heart that chains you to this world. So I waited until the pain in your soul has dispersed. On the other hand, I can't allow anybody to get lured by the binding spell. Thus, I must prevent the binding curse from spreading and turning grudge spirits back to normal. I've sealed. Yes, I have purified them. Little by little, their souls will heal. As for you, you already know the answer to your question, don't you? The place of your death was the hospital and the burial was meant for you. You mistakenly believed that they would bring the coffin in the end, and that the ceremony was interrupted. You couldn't see anyone because you went to the other world. You were drifting between the world of the living and the world of the dead. However, you preferred to stay with that girl no matter what. A nostalgic scene, don't you agree? Nostalgic? Tears of blood that never stop, deteriorating bodies and the feeling of impending, implacable death. Sooner or later, the memories of the tragedy will fade away. Gems can serve as a substitute that can allay the pain of grieving souls and move their hearts to forgiveness. We catch their madness with the silver cup offered to the moon and spill the light on them the golden cup offered to the sun. So they may rest in peace and no time comes for them to return to the heavens. 
help them overcome the darkness in their hearts by themselves, we offer four gems and two cups. So even the shade of the memories of their past lives could disappear completely. And yet these souls still do happen to run into each other by mysterious opportunities, don't they? Also, I think there's a, there's a typo there, but anyway. You're just in time. <laughs> yeah, Lily just pops up. No, you're gonna take him away too? No. This time, you're the one coming with me. You wish for him to open the door, and he's finally fulfilled the promise. Now all of your regrets, all of your obsession will fade. Please, you must believe. Believe? In what? I believe them with all my heart, but everyone left me behind. My mother, my father, my friends. Even he's gone, the one who said he would save me. Don't take them away. Please don't take those dear to me. Please listen. Every hardship you overcome will make you stronger. And even if you have to struggle again and again, eventually you endure it all. The more hardships you overcome, the stronger you will be. In the end, you will be able to endure anything. All of your pain, your regrets, they weren't in vain. Is that so? You were the only reason why I could keep moving forward. The world is dark because of the disasters that have been unleashed. Hope is in the box, and inside that box there's darkness too. After you told me that story earlier, I was thinking a lot about it. I think if the world and the box are meant to be the same, and if the only thing that's left in the darkness of the box is hope, so the hope in the box, I thought it might mean people. It is people who make the world better. What am I then? I'm not human anymore. That's why I'm here. I'm not taking you away to make you suffer. You'll be our new hope that will shine brighter and brighter. Suzette, that's my name. I'll come visit you as many times as possible. So you won't feel alone anymore. So you won't feel neglected. And the more friends the merrier, right? Hi, you said you'll always be with me. And Suzette, you'll be my friend. You'll come visit me no matter where I am. Well then, it's time to return. Yes. Alright. I guess there you go. I'm still a little confused about some things. I don't know if it's just me or maybe some of the translation is like it just feels a little off. Um, but the way I understand is that I guess we were dead all along. I guess Kai was dead and Lily was dead. And obviously Suzette was just the Grim Reaper. She was chasing them. Oh, well, there's more actually. Uh, let me just, you know, hold my thoughts. Why? I can't believe you're seeing me off. Oh? Treat me like an uninvited guest, but I'm already used to it, as the one clad in darkness. The silver cup was probably offered, am I right? Goddess of the moon? By the way, you must have become very fond of them. You place the keys, you prepare the clues, you made so everything would go as smoothly as possible. I wouldn't say that! <laughs> you know, she's the one apparently that made the puzzles, I guess. But like, I was really bad at the puzzles, so... <laughs> oh well. I wonder what you might be th talking about, my dear Grim Reaper? Past life, this life, the next life, time will take them away. That will be my dear big brother. Please don't lump me together. You look like you're enjoying yourself greatly, though. Well, I wonder about that. Soon the dawn will break and the sun will rise. I must leave before my brother comes. Well, that means you can pass on to the next life, I presume. Until we meet again, my most precious friends. Alright, that was a little weird. I guess those were the... The, the the moon goddess and the sun god was implied to be a thing too, I guess. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, we were ghosts all along. The Suzette was just trying to like, you know, purify us and bring us back to heaven. So that's why in the earlier game over, where we die really soon, you know, after staying in the church for too long, that's just like her like, you know, sending us to heaven. At least Kai to heaven. And another ending would be... Uh, I forget which one it was... I think, uh, what was it? What ending was it? I can't remember. 
but it was an ending where oh yeah oh yeah we were in the staircase and then she shows up and then she just you know it implies that she kills us both but really she just you know purifies us and i guess sends us to heaven as well or something like that or maybe she puts us in the binding seal i guess it's implied that if you if you're put in the binding seal you're just there to like rest for a bit until you're like you don't you don't feel as angry anymore or something i don't know <laughs> um I, I think that's what i understand from him anyway be yeah, a little confusing though so, like there's all these little concepts i don't really get like uh, the fact that kai is a reincarnation but he's dead so it's like a reincarnation of his old soul i i assume is like cause i don't know when the plague took place it was like i guess it, it was mentioned it was like in the 1900s or something you know somewhere in there um and so lily is a lot older than she think uh, she is or whatever but kai was like in a car accident in the modern you know era and then he died, but he, he's also a reincarnation of an older Kai, I guess, or like an older person that knew Lily and was the one that promised to like, you know, save her and everything, but he ended up not doing so, I guess, for some reason. Not sure what it was. Um, that was the case. I don't know. Uh, maybe, I don't know, there was that journal that mentioned like, you know, oh lord, forgive me for like trapping them or whatever. Maybe he's the one, maybe he was like a priest, you know? in an earlier life or something Yoda Kobe no, um, like maybe he was the priest that like trapped everyone inside or something and like I don't know I'm not sure though but apparently in his like previous life he made a promise to Lily and then eventually he actually did you know fulfill the promise but in a different uh, reincarnation I guess or something that assumes it's weird because then reincarnation is, is a thing but also heaven and hell and and there's also sun and moon goddesses this, this is just a mixture of different religions which is I guess is a thing in Japan actually in Japanese culture you know they tend to like actually just mix mix up all the religions just for fun I guess why not I don't know um, but I guess at least in this in this uh, universe I guess that's just how it works anyway but yeah, in the other endings, I either get like uh, captured by Suzette, or which is technically might be a good end. The, the, the game doesn't say whether or not it's actually a really good end. I'm not sure like what it means exactly. Or you get you get trapped by uh, Lily, you know, and you spend time with her forever. But but that's bad because you know, I guess I I'm assuming because she mentioned a lot of, like, I guess Suzette came for her mother, so, like Suzette like also sent some other souls to heaven and that's why Lily was feeling alone right because all the people that she knew were also being sent to heaven or something I don't know anyway not sure exactly it's hard to tell like which which part is like when they're living which part is when they're already dead it's a little confusing because there's no like distinguent uh, distinct uh, uh, what's the word there's no uh, distinction rather you know other than maybe when she like she's like does like a scary face you know the text turns red I guess but otherwise it's hard to tell anyway but yeah, that's a story, I guess. Um, we were we were dead all along. Um, I mean, yeah, An interesting concept though. Um, you know, like the I actually kind of wish we played the, a little bit more of uh, Suzette. Actually, you know, she's like the main. She's, she's right here in the title screen. We don't actually get to play with her all that much. She only appears at the very beginning and the very end, really. But it really feels like she she would be the main character instead. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you see, like the you know the Grim Reaper trying to soothe the spirits of the dead. It's a neat idea. Uh, I see in, in uh, other stories. It reminds me of Bleach, to be honest. You know, the anime Bleach, at least in the very beginning, where it was kind of all about that. Actually, it was kind of this cool idea of like trying to like make spirits like move on. You know, things like that. But then it became a weird shonen fighting anime. I don't know. I kind of lost. <laughs> Uh, it lost my attention after that, but you know, I like the initial idea, right, of like uh, communing with the dead and all that, you know, and dealing with like regrets, you know, that you had in life and, you know, vengeful spirits and all that sort of like fun stuff, I guess. It's cool. Anyway, I like the idea and uh, this game was, uh, was cool. Um, I mean, the only thing is, is it's just really a me problem is that the puzzles is really hard for some reason. I don't know. I, the very first puzzle as well was like really hard. Uh, because I could, I didn't really understand how you were supposed to put the passwords in. It wasn't really clear on that, I feel like, but oh well. I guess I'm just not super smart, <laughs> you know, so uh, I just couldn't solve it uh, very quickly. And uh, I must say, the last puzzle though, the very last puzzle to get the, the last ending, I assume it says ending one, I guess. I, I, w I would call that the true ending, I guess. Um, 
the the whole statue thing like very, very punishing like not only do you have to find the correct statues but only but but like within like a very short time limit you know the timer is very punishing i don't know what it is it could be a glitch i don't know maybe i'm crazy but i feel like the timer is way too short um so maybe it's something to do with like the the game messing up on my computer maybe like uh, it is an old engine so maybe it's glitching out and making a timer go faster than it actually is who knows I, 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 I actually need a time it you know back, looking back at the recording but anyway but there you go that's uh that's burial it's a interesting game i liked it for the most part um interesting you know um i mean yeah it's, it's scary right but like it's scary in like a uh, creepy way you know the whole idea of people being trapped down there and vengeful spirits and all that i like it i like it. it's that kind of like creepy atmosphere that i like about rpg maker horror games so it's pretty solid i think and you know even ends on like a happy note you know even though it's still bittersweet actually because they're, they're still dead you know they're technically dead but at least you know they move on and they don't uh feel like tied to the past and everything at least you know at least there's that anyway it seems to be a theme by the way i don't know i don't know if uh, the developer uh, I believe Tokido Kairu. I don't know if they've done other games, but it seems like in Devil of the Mirror and in this game, there seems to be, you know, a theme of like death. So I wonder if they if they made any other games. <laughs> like, or is it like a reoccurring pattern? I wonder. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, that was it for this game. Um, I guess if you didn't know, if you're on YouTube. I stream these games on Twitch, so you can check me out over there if you want. I also have other playthroughs available on the channel, so you can look for those as well. As I mentioned before, I also played another one of the uh, developer's games, so you can uh, look for that as well. Devil of the Mirror. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then. <laughs>